Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of On The Paint Table. It's my weekly show where you see what I got done, what I'm working on, and what is coming up. So this week, uh, I painted another 15 models. <laughs> if you count my um, spawn gates for Riot Quest, which I painted up because we're going to be playing on a new Riot Quest map with chutes and ladders. Um, and I assembled a whole bunch of stuff for Bot War, for Mantix Armada, and for Warhammer Age of Sigmar. Um, so, yeah, it's I'm on that roll where it's... It's not hard to get me to start like painting Space Marines, but it might be hard to get me to stop. <laughs> uh, I've painted another Intercessor Squad. My Inceptors I finally found. They were in a box from ages ago with Dark Imperium. Um, and I converted and painted up an Apothecary uh, for my Ultramarines army. And then my Spawn Gates, obviously, for Riot Quest, because they've been sitting like just primed and dry brushed forever, and I've just been wanting to like get them done, because that way I've got physical models for the Spawn Gates. They just look so much cooler when there's, like the mat's really nice, but it's cooler when there's like a physical thing to mark certain locations. Um, and then getting some more Valiants put together for Bot War, so I can play some games with Mike. He's working on his Infectors. Um, I'm going to be working on the Let's Play for Armada with Dwarves and Basilians. Basilians. Bazillions? <laughs> There's been some debate. <laughs> um, and I built my Mega Gargant for the Sons of Bayamat for Warhammer Age of Sigmar. Um, and dug out my um, Crypt Hunters uh, models so that I can make a 30-man unit of uh, Night Haunt. Um, which we call it Chain Rasps as well. So let's take a look at what I got done and what is coming up. So here we have another nine models from Ultramarines. I started on my second Intercessor Squad, um, just the Sergeant and uh, four Bolt Rifle guys so far. I converted the Sergeant again out of um, an old plastic Thunder Hammer from an Assault Terminator uh, that I carved off and just basically made fit one of the Sergeant Arms. I think this one was holding a pistol maybe, a Posm pistol or something like that. Um, I gave them a bear head. Uh, it's gotten to the point now where I have enough um, space friends, i got to start numbering them, so this is going to be squad secondus, with uh, the little two marking on all their um, tactical symbols. And they were, um, just like all of my ultramarines, airbrushed with green stuff world cobalt blue, uh, edged with stormhole silver, and the recesses washed with um, null oil gloss to give them some sort of like armor finish and stuff. All the metallics were done with... Uh, I think it's Sled Belcher as a base coat, uh, and then the weapon casings and stuff in a Scale 75 Eclipse Gray. Uh, and the edges of the, the gold and stuff are done in Scale 75 Viking Gold, um, and washed with Agrex Earthshade, and then blended up with uh, some kind of bright burnished gold. I don't remember which one it is. The bases, everyone asked about the bases. They're an Eshen Gray base coat, and then... Oh god, Vermin Brown from <laughs> I can never remember the name of this paint. Mornfang? Not Mornfang Brown. The orangier one of the two orange browns. Uh, mixed one third water, one third gloss varnish, and one third paint, uh, and then just washed in the recesses, and then dry brushed with Storm Vermin fur, uh, mixed with all one gray eventually up to give it a, a nice light dry brush. I think it's a nice tech basis. Um, then the uh, Apothecary was done with contrast paint, so a appropriately named Apothecary White um, over, uh, I think it was Grey Seer for a, for a wash, and then I just did, I hand painted the shoulder pad with the same cobalt blue um, over some Abaddon Black mixed with um, gloss varnish, just to do like a gloss black base coat and stuff. Met metallics and stuff were all the same uh, as on the other Ultramarines, same with the weapon casings and stuff. And yeah, nice quick and dirty librarian because I didn't want to not going to a game with one because he's too cool and uh, people people say I never convert my models and Space Marines are super fun to do like minor conversions with so he's just um, he's actually just like a start collecting sergeant for the intercessors um, that I hacked a pistol onto from a reaver arm or maybe just a pistol arm from my intercessor box and then I had an old command squad frame kicking around with the backpack uh, the Narthesium and the um, the chest plate and shoulder pad. I know technically the shoulder pad's supposed to be over here, but I, this was like bolted on. I didn't want to like, do that much cutting, so I just reversed it. He's just slightly not codex compliant. Um, and then I cut up the belt bits, the apothecary belt bits off of the chest plate that comes with this, and then just sort of like bang them on to give me a nice simple apothecary, which I was happy with. Uh, and then I painted some inceptors. These are from the uh, Dark Imperium box, which is why their guns don't have the little like loopy bits in the beginning or the, the front. Uh, and they're done the same way as the Intercessors uh, on 40 mil tech plate bases. Um, yeah, it's I, it's hard to get me to stop painting space friends. I got to finish the five Intercessors for this squad, and then I found I had a, an unopened Betrayal at Calth from my Horus Heresy mania of like several years ago, three or four years ago. Um, then I'm going to swap my buddy who had an unopened um, Dark Imperium, and I'm going to do the Dark Imperium guys in this scheme as well to do the because I have the Captain. 
and I had these intercessors, but the rest of them got painted for space wolves and stuff, or like I think even like dark angels for kill team. Um, and I wanted to have an intercessor squad that didn't have like an armed sergeant, so I could have a cheap one. So I'm gonna do that intercessor squad. Uh, probably the, the two lieutenants too, so I can have some alternate lieutenants that aren't the one with the uh, storm shield. Um, I'll do up the the big super armor captain, the gravis armor captain, um, the ancients. So I can have different agents, not the the blade um, guard one. And then I'll have some hellblasters and stuff too. Uh, and that really does put me like very close to like half a company. I think I it actually is half a company. I just need to round out the heavy support. Actually, that does round out the heavy support. I think maybe I could do some heavy support guys. On like one of the the rapier, or like the one of the one of the the land speeders. Actually, they'd be fast though, because I need sixty tactical style guys, uh, twenty assault style guys, and twenty devastator style guys, including vehicle crews to, to like round out. So I'm at, when I have thirty intercessors, I have half a company. Uh, basically, when I add in like all my fast attack stuff, like the outriders and the inceptors are all fast attack, uh, and then technically I have more than that because the 10 um, Assault Intercessors also have fast attack flashes, which makes them also fast attack guys. So it's like, yeah, I'm, I'm rapidly approaching, like, I've got almost a company of Ultramarines in um, in Primaris painted. It's, it sneaks up on you how fast you can paint a whole company of, uh, of dudes. And then maybe I'll get, like, an Impulsor just to have one to try out, and maybe the Gladiator, probably not the Lancer, probably the one with all the Laz Talons on it. I don't know. It's once I'm the infantry, like once I paint this dark Imperium box, I'm pretty happy with the infantry I've done. I don't, probably won't do aggressors just because I don't like the models. <laughs> um, and it'll probably come down to like some tanks and, and light vehicles and stuff just to round it out. And I painted up my gates. These are all um, like resin cast uh, spawn gates. And I numbered them one through six for use in the game. They were airbrushed with Grey Knight steel um, and then washed with that new Cryptic uh, shade or Crypto shade, something like that. It's the Necron shade uh, gloss. Um, and dry brush for Stormhost Silver, and then um, I did XV88 up through yellow and, and white for the numbers, and then gloss varnish them, and then old hawk turquoise up through old ice blue for the, the glowy bits. I started assembling some stuff for Bot War, uh, so I can play some big 80 point games with uh, Mike. I'm just waiting on Mike to finish some commissions and get some stuff painted, but I figured I'd get ahead and paint my Valiants. Um, so I put together Broadsword and his two, he's a host model, so these two um, dudes pop out of him. The two little pups, you can see their heads there on his shoulders. Uh, and they are um, capacitor and resistor. I think their names are two like little gun dogs, which are pretty cool. And then his friends. So I've got I've got some options now for my valiants when I get all this stuff painted. And then I'm gonna start working on the super big model, which is Leviathan. But I think I think Mike's already started to paint the queen for his infectors. So you're probably gonna see a couple of of my my like my bigger guys have to fight against a ginormous um, bad guy uh, bought from Bot Wars. I assembled and primed all of the ships um, I've got for Armada so far. So three dwarf ships. I'm gonna do these with um, airbrush. Metallics, you can see they're just they're gloss primed so far, and then I did the gray sear um, contrast primer on these because they're gonna be contrast painted. It's so like painting boats of contrast paint is just so fun because it's easy to get all the wood done really quickly, the sails get done really quickly, the symbols in the sails get done really quickly. I think that, and then I just go and do some metallics on these, they're gonna look super sharp. So that's my plan for next week is to get these done so I, don't know, I can try this out. Probably get a few of these models done. I want to take my time on them because I really like them. Um, so I can play with Mike next Friday. And then um, I got one thing I got to work on tomorrow to play again. And that's one. this big mamma jamma. Look at how big he is. This is the uh, Gate Crasher, Gatebreaker Gargant. Um, the one that can ally with my Death Army so I can use my Night Haunts. It actually instantly takes my Night Haunts 2,000 points. Although I was already planning on painting these to go with my Night Haunt Army. I used the... Um, the other, like my painted uh, versions of these exact same models uh, for the Let's Play for Crypt Hunters, um, but I really want to get this guy done. I've just got him base coated so far, so I assembled him last night. I got him uh, primed with um, Grey Seer, and then I'm actually following the painting guide in the book. So I'm using Gilliman Flesh, half uh, cut through with, um, what is it, the, uh, the contrast medium, and then I'm gonna give this a dry brush of Pallid Flesh. Um, I also just like while I was waiting, just to, to have something else like drawing it all the skulls and stuff with um, Agaros Dunes. I did the um, what's it the uh, stone with Basilicanum Gray. Um, so I'm doing all the light colors first, basically, and getting all my dry brushing done, and then I'll go through and start picking out the darker colors, like the ropes and stuff, with other contrast paints, um, and then like all of the dark grays and black. Probably um, uh, what's it the um, 
Black Templar for his like cool executioner's hood and stuff too. But I'm gonna get him done. He, he actually won't take that long to paint, I don't think, because the vast majority of him is skin. And the skin recipe from the Sons of Bamat book for contrast is actually pretty simple. Um, it's just gonna be this sort of time consuming part of then going in and picking up the metallics, layering in the other contrast paints, and then just doing some highlights and stuff, and he'll be finished. But I'm gonna try and get him done for tomorrow night. And when I'm gonna play a game, try this guy out, and you'll be able to see that next week. So there you go, another on the paint table done and on the books. Tune in tomorrow um, for another Widgets and Wonders, and you can check out my, um, uh, whatchamacallit, review of the Sons of Bam at Battle Tome for Warhammer Age of Sigmar today by clicking up here in the cards. Uh, so hope you enjoyed that. Big thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm Ash. Have a great day. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you uh, want to support the channel, of course, like and subscribe and hit the little bell below to so get notifications when I post future content. I do post stuff seven days a week. Uh, if you want to support the channel um, further, you can, of course, buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirt, um, buy a measuring gauge or objective markers from Death Grid Designs. Um, or, of course, most importantly, there is Patreon. Patreon is what makes all this possible. Uh, keeps the lights on, pays for the studio costs, pays for the equipment, model costs, and everything else. And most importantly, um, puts food in my kids' bellies and a roof over their heads. Uh, big thanks to everyone past, future who supported me. Uh, I do this stuff because of you guys, and of course, I will continue doing it as long as I can.